trying to decide between online learning and traditional classroom learning can be extremely tricky. On the one hand, it's 2019 and most of us have the technology in our pockets to assess information on the go. But on the other hand, it's a new campus college experience, new backpack and heading onto the campus with arms full of books and maybe a packed social schedule. To what to choose? In this video, we will compare and contrast some of the advantages and disadvantages of online learning and traditional education. Hello friends, welcome to GeoTimes. This is Dinesh. Tony Blair, the ex-PM of United Kingdom, has once said, Technology has revolutionized the way we work and is now set to transform education. Children cannot be effective in tomorrow's world if they are trained in yesterday's skills. Nor should teachers be denied the tools that other professionals take for granted. E-learning is the employment of technology to aid and enhance learning. It can be as simple as a high school students watching a video documentary in class or as complex as entire university course provided online. Online learning provides various channels such as mails, online chats and video conferences to interact with each other. Whereas in classroom only one channel to communicate but a teacher student relationship can be best established in the classroom only. Some students gain their knowledge or visualize what the teacher says. But some students can't visualize what the teacher says. So in terms of e-learning and by using e-learning, we can easily visualize what the content is. So for such type of students who can't visualize the things, e-learning is such a great platform and you can't take this out from the learning aspect. E-learning consists of blogs, software, digital medias, e-books, critical thinking, technology mediated learning, etc. In this information age where the need for knowledge workers increases, as the need for manual work workers decreases, lifelong learning is seen as a key to continued success of modern society. So e-learning is considered as many the only viable solution. Let's go ahead. So the e-learning is very much affordable compared with your university or classroom learning because we don't have to pay for on-campus housing or meal plans. They have cheaper ebooks, especially if online learn learners can purchase the digital version and no need of classroom infrastructure less electricity bills, municipal bills, etc. Sometimes traditional classes may be boring and online classes may be interesting because of the animations, PPTs, slides, good audio and visual effects. They make uh, online classes attractive and tech savvy. As we have already seen many students take a power nap in the afternoon classes after having lunch or some uninterested classes which they feel bored. So online classes makes them interesting and visualized. Students don't need to commute from places to places, no energy loss, no pollution. Sometimes people miss opportunities because of being delayed. It may be an interview or it may be an exam, it may be anything. So by online classes, you, need, you don't need to worry about this traffic, etc. And you can easily, happily stay at home and learn and write the exam wherever you want to sit and wherever you want to watch. People love to listen to classes if they have favorable environment because some people like to sit in the bedroom and study and some people in the study room, some people on the dining hall, their local cafe, local gym and while you are traveling. It, it is very much flexible. In the online classes, you can study from a distance of 1000 miles across the globe, wherever you want to get teachers connected. It is much more flexible than the traditional classes. Many students are not even affordable for any kind of online learning or classroom learning because they are poor so they get employed part-time in any of the factories so they get employed part-time and get classes attended online which may make their skills enhancing for themselves and particularly to the society's development. There are many courses which are offered through online like content marketing, email marketing, SEO, sales, e-commerce, animations, coding, development, etc. Some courses which are dealt in online may not be available in offline. It has a vast network of courses in any field, one thing is very good in online teaching. It's never erased. I mean, you can pause wherever you want and play it again and again to understand the concept clearly, subjected to the condition that the audio visual effects should be very good and the teacher should have the content. Your internet speed should also be very good. You need to have a great self motivation to maintain your timings learning schedule, wake up times because nobody is pushing you from behind. So you should be self-motivated to learn in online and catch the pace. For example, some labs like Labster, you can virtually get through what is happening in the PCR machine, how an amplification of DNA is done. It is clearly shown. You can clearly understand within no time. I mean, explaining for so many hours 
and understanding within few few minutes is like very great thing in online teaching there are a lot of scholars who have given very great uh, quotations on this virtual labs albert einstein once said the definition of genius is taking the complex and making it simple within 20 to 30 minutes students could evaluate a technique that normally takes hours and, and is quite boring and dry labster allows a dynamic visualization of chemical reactions so, so that students can practice and better understand these concepts innovation is not limited to any place you can get connected with people around the world so lecturers try to make it interesting and in simple format so that it is legible and easily understandable. Coming to the traditional education of blackboard learning, so we will see the advantages of traditional education and the defects and demerits of online education. At a time when India is trying to build a digital India and the country is talking about moving towards 5G internet connection, people in the country are still struggling to get a good data speed on their existing 4G connections. According to World Data Speed Monitoring Platform, OCLA, India ranks at 129th position in a list of 138 position. It is behind Pakistan, Sri Lanka and Myanmar, many Asian countries. This is because of the slow bandwidth speed in India, which is due to the high cost of the spectrum leading to the internet service providers not investing much into the spectrum. And the growing number of uh, telecom users and smartphone users made this even slower and according to some telecom experts india is one of the costliest spectrum in the world india is trying to make it connected to the rural india but it may take some time many people from rural background who doesn't have sufficient money to purchase a smartphone and a laptop and a necessary broadband connection it is very difficult to go through the online classes they rely more on the traditional classes and one of the important drawback in online classes is cyberbullying it takes place over digital devices like cell phones computers and tablets it occurs through sms text apps social media platforms forums and interactive gamings etc it includes sending posting or sharing negative harmful false or mean content it may be rumors, unlawful or embarrassment and humiliation to the individual. They especially target women of teenage. There are a lot of landmark judgments made by the Supreme Court like Vishaka versus the state of Rajasthan. They try to protect from sexual harassment of women. There are set of guidelines and many colleges have anti-ragging squads and information technology acts etc. But there is no separate legislation in India. It is a time. It is a dire need to stop bullying. Students should save themselves by using latest technologies to protect their accounts safe and keep your social profile and interaction safe the best interaction is through traditional classes where there will be an interaction between a student and a teacher it will enhance your public speaking skills you can debate in a group and you, you can give a wonderful presentations the, the best part is viva voice the interviewer will assess you perfectly it enhances your career development it boosts your confidence critical thinking personality development you can communicate with each other with ease whatever you are intending to convey will be conveyed clearly through this classroom training and it will in increase your social connections personal satisfaction and expand your professional knowledge and you don't have stage fears to speak in front of public and become a good orator you can understand the social fabric of the society by going to the traditional classrooms at the same time you when you are going to online classes you will miss this library interaction human beings are social animals and the tenor of someone's social life is one of the most important influence on their mental and physical health Without possible durable relations, both minds and bodies can fall apart. It's regarding social life. And technology has changed the way people interact with each other in their daily lives. But it has not affected the basic need to form supportive bonds with other people. Most of this human history was spent in groups and each individual was dependent on others for survival. So social life is a must and that can be best provided by the traditional classroom teacher. And if you have classrooms at 8 a.m. in the morning, you will be very much stick to your schedule, respect it and the strictness comes and you will travel on time and participate in every event. This will improve your punctuality, self-development. Interesting part, field trips, the school trips or educational visits, etc. provides you a powerful, positive teaching tools that would enhance your social behavior, personality and emotional development of all learners.
it will create an extra stimulation in new environments that can particularly be beneficial who are, who are behind others. Whenever you go to a lab, you can practically experience what it is happening. There is no way you can reach this in online teaching. Mindful develop schools. There are a lot of clubs that like the yearbook, band practice, Spanish club. Everybody have their own hobbies, which will make their life and engaging. You will have some chemistry labs, clubs, theater clubs. And some people are interested in newspaper learning. This can be done only in traditional classrooms. Not all majors can teach online and some are difficult to design of good quality, etc. The like engineering laboratories and anatomy class, medical clinical practices, which can be dealt effectively in a traditional classroom. And education is not limited to syllabus only. It also includes discipline, manners, moral values, ethics, and interaction with each others in the classroom. These traits are difficult to inject through online teaching. In the past few years, internet addiction and internet gaming disorder have become very frequent, leading to many personality and psychiatric disorders, include your self low self esteem stress anxiety phobia post traumatic stress depression panic and there should be guidelines for physical health and mental wellness which are stress so that for all stakeholders measures so that children do not get overly stretched or stressed and affect negative owing to the prolonged use of digital devices also it provides sufficient do's and don'ts regarding the ergonomics and cyber safety by using your smartphones laptops and other handheld devices they contain a blue light in particular which is more toxic for your eyes scientists at university of toledo Ohio, have found that the exposure of blue light the glow emitted from the most smartphones is promotes the growth of poisonous molecules in your eyes leading to macular degeneration so what is macular degeneration it is macular degeneration is a result of photoreceptor cell death in the retina the photoreceptor cells is to capture visual Im images and signal them back to the brain using a molecule called retinal this is the most affected part of your eye by the blue light and causes various chemical reaction and they get damaged and you'll have blurred vision stress anxiety etc so the government of india has given a set of regulations for this online teaching in the pandemic for pre-primary students the online session should not be more than 30 minutes from class 1 to 8 should not be more than 45 minutes of two sessions and from 9th to 12th four sessions of 30 to 45 minutes each important to have presentations that are easily readable and the maximum use of infographics hrd ministry has frame this set of guidelines because of the increasing kids exposure to screens so in traditional classrooms you can sit in the classroom and you can raise your hand and ask a lot of doubts which may be cleared by your classroom teacher because the com there will not be any communication gap between a teacher and a student your style behavior mindset attitude has their own uniqueness in asking questions and coming to the group task this is the best 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 part of traditional classrooms it will enhances your ideas thinking thought process the problems faced in the society can be easily be understood by this group task so oh, i can easily go to the whiteboards draw graphs write anything and every equation which can be easily understandable while answering uh, queries and questions but online whiteboards are ter terrible for drawing graphs writing equations on the fly Allahabad high court finds three doctors for bad handwriting so what i'm trying to say is traditional classrooms help you to write in a legible which can be understandable for everyone otherwise the there will be a gap of communication it can happen anything especially with doctors in online classes you get distracted by your social media notifications like facebook twitter instagram reddit etc the main important part of the online education is the parents should be a co-educator because childs of this age can't understand how to switch on the laptop how to get connected with the wi-fi etc so parents should be co-educators sit beside them and teach them along with teacher how to behave in front of the camera for the parents who are homemakers it's fine but for the parents who are employed it's very difficult for them to keep leaves and sit beside your kid and teaching it's very difficult and it will affect the environment of your house it will affect the social fabric of your family virtual learning is okay 
but there is no replacement for classroom lessons. Virtual learning is a bliss if students and teachers have easy access to technology and internet, for which India is lagging behind. India has initiated a lot of schemes like National Optical Fiber Network, Bharatnet, etc. It tries to bring broadband to 2,50,000 villages, but it is a long way to go. There are rural areas where people have no access to these digital devices and for that they will be behind the schedule and they can't be competitive enough to reach to the society. As you can see, both online and traditional education systems have their own unique advantages and a own set of challenges. Which one to choose is their choice because a professional who is working in a software company can easily learn coding language online but a student of first class can't learn this through online it should be a mixed one online learning and a traditional classroom there should be a difference between children's education graduation pg courses etc i feel in my opinion students of less than 15 years old should get through this traditional education only because you can't play PlayStation at home when compared with playgrounds. You can easily understand how your social life and your critical thinking will be developed playing in a ground and versus PlayStations. One system won't serve all students well. There should be a blend of online and face-to-face -face learning. You have virtual labs. You can experience the lab experience. But the practical learning is the most efficient way to understand the concepts clearly and that is the need of the R. You need to adopt everything in moderation. Students have access to YouTube, Facebook, Insta, any social media. They can use it for enhancing their visualization and comparing it with your teacher in the classroom and learn it effectively. This way they can reach heights in learning. Thank you. Jai Hind.